Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Yes, hello there. <clears throat> Just want to take a look. Are we looking okay? Yep. So we see this headline, Boris calls in the Army. I'm talking over in the UK, hundreds of soldiers can be scrambled to drive fuel trucks. And government scraps competition laws to tackle petrol crisis set to last a week as up to 90% of forecourts run dry. Chairman of the Petrol Retailers Association said panic buying had caused serious problems for stock levels. <laughs> I was just thinking, I, I think sometimes when I go to Walmart, you know, I think that they are like, oh, no, here he is. You know, because unfortunately, the dates, you, you can't tell people at Amazon what dates you want. Right. If you're ordering from other online facilities, you you it's hard to order something and say, what's the expiration date, by the way? It is when you're asking somebody else to do, you know, to take stuff off the shelf for you. It's just too much explaining. Yeah. And, you know, I don't like ordering from Amazon. I don't like ordering from Walmart. Um, you know, again, you got to do what you can do. So usually we always go to the more local one when we do our yes. shopping. But when I check dates on certain things, the dry goods, it's, it's very depressing because mm -hmm. usually they're going to go out of date in just a matter of weeks or just a couple months. So if you're wanting to keep a good stash, it just makes no sense. And unfortunately, I'll go over to, say, Walmart right directly next door, and their dates will be like uh, August of 2024, you know, March of 2025. And, you know, I'd much rather buy from the local, the smaller places. Mm -hmm. This is this is one of our conundrums, isn't it? But here you see panic buying. So my, my whole thing with that was, you know, I, I'm panic buying the organic stuff that's in cans. Because, you know, in some places it seems like people don't care if they get organic or not organic. But when you when you get to it, most of the grocery stores out there don't have a ton of stuff in back. It, they are on a as needed on demand type thing. So usually what you see out front is most of what they have. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're stocked to the brim in the back. And, you know, we're seeing this with with the petrol crisis going on over in the UK. Ministers will consider drafting in troops to deliver petrol and diesel later this week if panic buying persists. So, yeah, Boris Johnson's considering calling in the army. Now, we had already talked about the potential in the U.S. for a National Guard to be driving our kids to school. There's a pattern here, guys. Do you think there's a pattern here? Uh, and this, this you know, shows lines of people waiting to gas up. You're going to run out of gas by the time you're able to get up to the pump. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that feels good now. Now that we are situated, it, you know, one, one fill-up lasts us a whole month. Yeah. Um, and I'm seriously trying to I'm, – I'm considering buying uh, – looking to find – something like a Enduro 250 uh, that won't take a lot of gas. A lot of where we are is country and, you know, serious country and woods and stuff. And yet, you know, a, a small motorcycle might be a great option in case, you know, things degenerate and you don't want to take uh, the truck out to go get something when you could just simply go get it on a bike that is going to get 60 miles per gallon. The other thing with that was I was thinking about trying to find something that was very, very simple and old tech that might be EMP P proof. Yep. CME EMP proof because, you know, at the moment we would be pretty much stuck. Um, but that's a possibility as well. Cause you know, it's go time, guys, in case you can't tell, and I'm sure that you guys can. It's go time. The prices are going up, up, up. I had shared with you guys, too, how I felt it was a really good bargain as far as a good protein powder. 
can go a long way to satisfy your daily RDAs. And so, you know, typically I would go through a five pound jug of high quality grass fed, you know, non GMO, no bovine hormones, whey protein. Yeah, in maybe six weeks we would, because we, we have a, we try to have a shake every day. We try to, and, you know, juicing, fresh juicing, we've gotten from the Galactics and also from uh, the other guides. That's the key right now to health is, is live, fresh juices, you know, so organic stuff, all, you know, juice, organic celery and carrots and fresh ginger and, you know, any citrus you like. I, I love to actually juice watermelon, too. So hydrating. Uh, so, you know, that makes it so that you can cover, you know, your amino acids, get all your aminos for the day, and, you know, start the day off in a healthy way with a lot of life force. So I went to, something was telling me order more. So I had ordered, I had two jugs in stock. I had 10 pounds of protein powder in stock. I ordered three more. And then I just went to look for a reorder. Now the price had jumped up 10 bucks since the time previously I had ordered it. And then now, which was only like three weeks later, it jumped up another $5 each. It's going through the roof. Things are really starting to go up. Mm -hmm. We can see it. So I ordered another um, six. <laughs> I found one that was a little bit cheaper because some of the other options had already gone to where it's basically double what I was typically paying. Double. So I found one that was still priced at a low price point when it came in. Uh, they're 18 months out. We get about six weeks out of one of them, maybe eight, you know, six to eight weeks. So, you know, now we have like 10 in stock. Mm -hmm. So we should be good for a year or, or we could even probably push it out more. Yeah. Between that, the rice, the beans, the lentils, and other options, you know, um, you got to be thinking this terms. The way I look at it now is that's a better investment than your return on so many other things. Certainly anything you have in the bank, mm -hmm. a better investment than on most things, commodities, you know, things that you're going to need. And you're really going to need your health too. So the healthier stuff that you can get in your home for when things aren't looking so good, if you're not able to get out there and get food, the better for you because you're already going to be under enough stress with the changing tides and everything going crazy and whatnot. You definitely want to have something that's really going to nourish your body as best as you can. And you're going to need your nourishment when there's MMA fights breaking out at the gas pumps. Yes. I are. was next. No, I was next. I mean, seriously. Mm -hmm. It's, it's getting kind of crazy out there. It really, really is. And people are people are starting to lose it. There's all sorts of different, uh, perhaps V period, da, 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 accidents yep. uh, that are happening out there. There's, there's a lot of people are noticing a lot of kind of like zombie reactions from people or people just being overstressed, being out of it, and, uh, you know, mind elsewhere. And here we see all hell is breaking loose in the energy markets. We had gotten from the guides back after the Texas, Arkansas, uh, Oklahoma cold snap that was absolutely brutal. We followed a couple of um, what you call it? Uh, homesteaders, one in southern Mississippi, and the other one was in southern Louisiana. They had never seen anything like that. Even stuff in their greenhouses were having a hard time dealing. Mm -hmm. And then we found out about the power bills and the people freaking out because all of a sudden, you know, maybe two hundred fifty bucks is what you expected for utilities, and all of a sudden it was twelve hundred and fifty. What you know? But this is what's going on now. And bigger shock already than the 1970s. Do you guys remember the, any of you guys around since the 70s remember the gas lines and rationing? It, it's all coming back around and it's on steroids. 
It is. It's really concerning. I mean, it, it's got my solar plexus in a mess. <laughs> right. I mean, well, we have people fighting over scrap pieces of wood, you know, down in the parks to try to keep warm. Is, is that's what's coming? I mean, and especially when, if the powers that be were honest with us, there's no need for any of it. The technology's out there, but there's no, there's no will for that doesn't make profit mm -hmm. it doesn't make profit boy there's there's a certain industry out there that has incredible profits that's getting uncovered and you guys know what we're talking about it's an industry that you know well you know you do it once you'll be good right do it twice you'll be good no 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 now you're gonna have to do it three times no no yep. now it's gonna be every month no no Yep. Maybe you got every shift, every, every time you're going to go to work, you got to, you know. Do one of those things. Yeah, get another one of those thingies again. Mm -hmm. And yet we see the record profits going through the roof in certain industries. And people are kind of waking up to this. And we understand there's many layers to the programming. Natural gas prices soared by almost 500% in 2021. And we're just coming to winter 500%. You know, again, you're going to be faced. Many people, really, they're, they're creating this massive chaos around the globe. People are going to be faced with, well, you know, do I want to go hungry this week or do I want to freeze this week? Right. Can I, can I take it? You know, can we take the cold? I don't think it'd be too bad. It's It'd be about zero in here tonight. Yeah, maybe we need a good fasting this week. You know. Well, if everybody ate some beans and got their lighters out, we'd be okay now. <laughs> we'd do great. That'd be a great fun party. Goldman cuts China's quarter three GDP growth to zero percent as a result of growing energy crisis. And I've heard some people say that you see, you know, China's going to fall apart because. You know, they're, they're not going to be able to, to handle all this as well. And so, you know, they're not going to be able to, the dragon's not going to be able to make its way starting to take over the number one spot and, you know, acquire or reacquire in their mind Taiwan and, you know, perhaps moving on to Australia, Canada, and even the U.S. at some point in time. But you got to recognize, too, that, Every single thing we are talking about has been scripted to the nth degree. So there's all these plans afoot that are manifesting right now. And uh, this is when times get more dangerous, even for those that are not in the know of the true puppet masters. Because, you know, countries will be going after resources. Mm -hmm. And if you... Get to the point where your people are seriously unhappy, like as in French Revolution, unhappiness. Ultimately, you know, the power at the top gets, well, they get in trouble, too. And, and they run the risk of having outright, complete rebellion. They sure do. And then, you know, there's so much talk about this going on, despite... Record cargo backlogs, ports of L.A. and Long Beach still don't operate around the clock. And we're talking about priorities. There's such a backlog and there's so many rumors now. As more people wake up, the rumors are just abounding. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've, I've heard rumors of people saying that there's a backlog because, you know, there's Chinese troops out there. Right, right. You know, we've heard that one and we've heard other things. Regardless, it's. To me, it's kind of a sign of the times. It's something that we need to pay close attention to because this sort of thing might very well spread where other places are having problems with cargo backlogs or even just getting the cargo to the port. So, you know, I think this is just a good example of what we need to pay attention to. Yeah. How to deal with it. Well, you know, again... I guess we'll just call out the National Guard. I mean, that's what they're doing for everything else, right? Mm, you're right. More than 25% of all American imports pass through one of the two ports. L.A. and Long Beach collectively manage 
13 private container terminals. Long Beach officials finally said last week they would try operating 24 hours a day. Between Monday and, and Thursday, LA says it's going to keep existing hours and wait for the rest of the supply chain to extend their hours first. You know, why are all those ships out there? Why are why is everything going on all at once? Is this just some great big coincidence from above? Is yeah. this is this you know just an act of the Almighty Creator? Yes. You know, well, it, I think it was probably just a coincidence then that you know they were having dry runs on how to handle you know a, a plague upon the land exactly like what came out like month and a half before, two months before. Well, you know, you got to ask yourself, what exactly do they expect us to believe and, and buy these days anyway? I don't think they care, you know, because I think they feel that the majority of people are never going to catch on. The majority of people are going to look at everything, and when it comes down to it, they're still just going to bury their heads in their TV, and they're going to do whatever they have to just to keep living a zombified form of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe so too. It's well, you know, it's part of, partly it's kind of a a safety mechanism. It keeps people in their safe place. So there was an Amtrak derailment up in uh, Montana, and it killed three people, left seven people hospitalized. They're investigating it. It was there, it wasn't bad weather. You know, everything seemed fine. And we don't have an answer yet, but I'm curious about it. You know, there's been there's been more than one train derailment that we've seen lately. There's been an awful lot of explosions going on. Covert, you guys know what we mean, right? There's there's certainly enough potential to have a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, maybe a million. We wouldn't even know if there was a million. Um. T R O P S, right. you know, from a myriad of different countries here. There's been so many people that have been crossing the borders for years, and and other ways. There's no way, and this this has been again planned a long time. So you got hospitals fearing staffing shortages, as you know, more and more people are are saying, no, they're not going along. Mm -hmm with the uh the dates made for men mm -hmm, right <laughs> i guess <laughs> I like that the dates, right? the made, dates for made for men <laughs> yes no we do not concur right no we don't we are not doing those types of dates we do not submit no dozens of massachusetts massachusetts mm -hmm. state police troopers resigning over you know what the dates made for men <laughs> okay i'm liking it it reminds me, I go back and think of uh, one of my all-time favorite movies. We are men. Men in tights. Remember that? that? Men in tights? That is fun. That was just fun stuff. You know, we need slapstick, guys. We need silly stuff. We need more laughter, for sure. Definitely. Yes. You know, guys dressed in cow suits that have eaten too many, you know, frijoles. Playing guitars. Playing guitars. Yes. yes. I mean, we got to be silly in this world gone absolutely bonkers. So, yeah, you know, they're, they're not going to have enough nurses. They're not going to have enough doctors. They're not going to have enough bus drivers. They're, they're not going to have enough state troopers. Uh, and, you know, of course, there's the whole move that, movement that started to defund the police in the first place. Well, think about it, you know. If you were on the sidelines and you wanted to eventually I-N-V-A-D-E a country and you were able to infiltrate things to a very, very high degree, why not you know, get things going like defunding the police? Why not get things going like taking away the Second Amendment, finding ways to get rid of the Second Amendment, and then actually getting people to dis- ARM themselves because you know that's all going to make things easier later on when the time actually comes to put boots on the ground because that's in my mind you know that's that's all part of what this is all leading to New York gov 
GOV. Remember Mel Brooks? Blazing Saddles? Yes. Yes. And I will share something very embarrassing with you guys because I want to uh, lighten the load a little bit. But yeah, I used to weightlift a lot when I was a kid and stuff. And so early on, I was I was doing some construction. I was working construction. And the guys, you know, I, I like to think it was affectionate, but, you know, they started calling me Mongo. And I didn't get it. I was like, why are you call me Mongo? What's Mongo? And then I saw Mel Brooks's movie Blazing Saddles, and I understood. Mongo, Mongo. got the job done. Well, yeah, but it wasn't for his intellect, though. So <laughs> that was, you know, that was a little disconcerting. But yeah, so the uh, and and in that movie, the governor has G O V on his, his shirt and his jacket all the time. Yeah, New York governor confirms National Guard will fill in for fire, fired healthcare workers. Like we said. They're going to be doing all the jobs. So, you know, what you're going to see is uh, what we're, we've already seen the IRS get an enormous boost in, in their ranks. And then now we have, you know, the uh, D.C. police, right? There's it, it seems like, you know, there always will be government jobs. And maybe there's going to be more and more government jobs than ever. Maybe eventually... Every job will be a government job. What does that actually mean if that's the case? You know, it just doesn't look good. And by the way, uh, if they you know do refuse, they won't get unemployment. Wow, that's, so that's wicked. That's really that's really you know, turn the knife, just stick it in there, turn it, put a little salt in it, and you know, just l let it rot itself out. That's really horrible. So let's see, you know, can't go out to a restaurant, can't go to a bar, watch some sports out there with friends. No, can't do that. Can't work anyway now if, if I decide against something and I'm not going to get unemployment. Uh, probably will end up taking away Medicare, Medicaid at some point in time. I wonder if it ever get to the point where you can't even have a license or maybe you won't be able to register your vehicle. Hmm. Interesting. At least eight fireballs over the U S on September 24th, lots of sightings coming in and, uh, pretty spectacular. There is, um, some video links down here for you guys to see. And as we said, so many of these fireballs, when, when we're asking the guides and just going on intuition, they're not really fireballs. Right. Okay. Being they're not necessarily all meteors. Mm -hmm. We did have a strong earthquake. It was first reported as a 6.0. Some were reporting as 5.8. It did claim one victim that had 20 people injured. This is in uh, the Greek island of Crete. Very historical, very, very beautiful area. Homes and churches damaged. Rock slides occur at the country's fourth largest city and uh, people are missing let's send our prayers out that way please 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 and alaska we have actually three different volcanoes at orange level alert right now after elevated seismic activity and small explosions and yeah you know this whole well the aleutian islands you know it's all volcanic islands that's that's what it is and you can see all the volcanoes this area is packed with volcanoes mm -hmm absolutely packed and you know so this is most definitely ramping up as we have been talking about the artificial flavoring there and speaking of artificial flavoring la palma still ongoing hasn't stopped the ebb and flow when it stops nobody knows or maybe somebody does down in some gov dot lab well you know they push the buttons and they they sit there and they're hopeful Anyway, that they know that much. Yes, and <laughs> do they have any idea what they're really doing? I don't think they do. One of the best ever photos of a gigantic jet. Isn't that cool? That's something. That is something. And so this was uh, down in the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico area. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous area. It then occurred over a very powerful thunderstorm. 
Amazing. That almost looks like you're opening up a portal into another dimension or something, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, to me, you know, it just strikes me as a, an elemental, a rather large one who likes to show his feathers off. And we have an amazing scientific explanation over here from Dr. Tony Phillips of SpaceWeather.com. He says, lightning on Earth is getting weirder and weirder. Mm -hmm. Of course uh, it is. Okay, it's yeah. getting weirder and weirder. So maybe we should call your friends over at HA. ARP. Yes. Or the other guys over at CERN and say, hey, guys, what are you doing? Yes. Who turned what knob right now? Because things are getting a little too weird out here. No, it's okay. The scientists, they got it. They got it all figured out and it's labeled. So we're okay now. Yeah, they'd probably say something like, hey, it's okay. We just had to let 100,000 demons in. Yeah, it's simple. Well, Let's be technical here. Interdimensional beings. Yeah, I know. Of we a negative persuasion. We would hate to offend anyone. Got to be politically correct now. Yes. So, guys, we want to thank everybody that's been ordering for medicinal foods. There's a link on every video at the top of the page. It does support uh, the channel as well. And use coupon code EA for an extra 5% off the order. And as you fill up the cart, you could get up to 25% off and free shipping. Lots of good things there. Legal. Mega medicinal mushroom bundle available, mm -hmm. herbal tonics as well, and you know just some yummy yummy stuff. And go down a little bit. There's the yummy stuff. Some lovers bars, mm -hmm. shaman blend, good stuff. And also we couldn't do it without the patrons and your support. Uh, where you know evolutionary as we've shared, uh, it's been demonized for a long time and reviewed and they said it's never coming back and actually they went through two videos they found offensive that we did about three and a half years ago yep. and uh so two quick strikes and we basically have been <laughs> taking whatever time we have available to uh pull off other videos uh so they don't find a third strike and then basically we'll, we'll start to upload them to other sources, which we have a whole list of that we're working on in between working on people. And if you do need energy work or if you need a Vedic chart, you know, typically we're running uh, about 10 to 14 days out for an appointment. Reach out to us at evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com or eearts at protonmail.com. And thanks for your patience uh, waiting for us to get right back to you. We couldn't do it without you guys. Stay prepared out there. Most definitely things are getting hotter and hotter. Yes. And this winter they might get very, very cold at the same time. Yes. Stay prepared. God bless and namaste. Namaste.